morning. It's Thursday, June 1st, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, So Many Questions, Only One Answer. And our scripture is Job, chapter 38. Then the Lord answered Job from the whirlwind, Who is this that questions my wisdom with such ignorant words? Brace yourself like a man, because I have some questions for you, and you must answer them. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me, if you know so much. Who determined its dimensions and stretched out the surveying line? What supports its foundations, and who laid its cornerstone as the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy? Who kept the sea inside its boundaries as it burst from the womb, and as I clothed it with clouds and wrapped it in thick darkness? For I locked it behind barred gates, limiting its shores. I said, This far and no farther will you come. Here your proud waves must stop. For 37 chapters, Job has heard no answers from heaven about why his children died, why his reputation in the community died, and why his wealth crumbled, and why his wife lost faith in him and advised him to curse God for all of it, lie down, and just die. You can certainly believe it. Job had questions, a lot of them. And from the tone of Job's voice, while debating with his well-intentioned dragons, the neighbors who feigned deep concern, but had already made up their minds that Job must have had closet sins, which were the reason God was punishing him. Well, you can deduce that Job figured he was entitled to some answers. Finally, God does give answer to all those questions, and they had all the same answer. A question, really. God asked Job, with so little understanding, my dear child, how did you ever manage to lace up your sandals this morning? God's commentary followed, describing for Job how he couldn't possibly understand God's thought process for allowing Satan to sift through Job's life and create such chaos. That commentary was about the creation, starting with the DNA of the tiniest creature to the great leviathan beast roaming the open seas. He described assembling the foundation of the earth and teaching the stars to sing while arranging all the majestic splendor of life, both physical and metaphysical. God's answers continue for another chapter and a half, but it's still one answer, a description of God's majesty displayed in creation and how Job, a latecomer to time and eternity, really doesn't have enough brain power to even begin understanding God's ways, let alone instructing God in his responsibilities. Here's how the conversation finishes. God says to Job, Do you still want to argue with the Almighty? You're God's critic, but do you have the answers? Then Job replied to the Lord, I am nothing. How could I ever find the answers? I will cover my mouth with my hand. I have said too much already. I have nothing more to say. Finally, Job lays hold of an intelligent thing to say to an almighty, sovereign God. For you today, there exists in our world an arrogance which is as old as Satan prancing into heaven and challenging God to this battle with Job's soul as the prize. It's the arrogance that we humans have judging God for the bad stuff that happens. We charge God as scapegoat for all the misery we've created by ignoring his love and righteousness. We choose destruction over the plan of God for good and holy living. And then, in our pride, we blame God for our choices. So approach God in your day today. Listen much. Say little. Let him love you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.